Hello, welcome back. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to share how to adjust mask opacities and how they can be used in creative ways, like from this to this. So let's get started with this tutorial. Here, I have an image and I already created a mask for this image. Let me enable it first. As the mask is not a child of any layer, it will mask everything below it. If I drag and drop it on the layer below, it is going to mask that layer only. Awesome. Now let me change this opacity. As you might notice, changing the opacity of a mask only adjusts the transparency on the visible part. If I also wanted to change the transparency of the blocked part, I need to change its density. In Affinity, there is no setting for the mask density. However, I can recreate it in a very easy way by adding a curves layer to the mask and selecting the alpha channel. If I now adjust the highlights in the curves layer, the effect will be the same as changing the opacity as the highlights in the curve refer to the whites in the mask. If I change the shadows, which is affecting the blacks, I now change the opacity of the mask out areas, resulting in making the mask out areas more transparent. Another trick I can apply is feathering the mask, which can be done by adding a live Gaussian blur filter. I'm using Affinity Designer right now, and Affinity Designer does not allow to add live filters. However, you can copy and paste it from Affinity Photo. I already did this, and let me reset the density of the mask so you can see the effect better. Keep in mind not to turn on Preserve Alpha, as we are applying the blur on the Alpha channel. If you turn this on, the filter will not have any effect. Now, the real cool part is that I can apply multiple masks and by using the density trick with the curves, I can combine these masks. By only using opacity of a mask, this would not be possible. To explain what I mean, let me create a circle around the face which I will rasterize as a mask in a second. But before rasterizing it as a mask, let me add a Gaussian filter effect for a more smooth mask. If I change the opacity, as mentioned before, it will only affect the visible area, but using the curves trick, we can now change the density of the mask. Wonderful! I can make this mask a child layer of the layer below, and now the two masks are successfully combined as a set of masks applied to the layer. To wrap up the video, let me finish the photo with a cool effect for you. If I change the blend mode to linear burn, and add a gradient map, we get this nice shine effect. If I adjust the gradient colors to orange and yellow, the result is a nice golden glow. To give the golden glow a more dramatic look, I can set the blend mode of the gradient map to multiply. Now, you can see the real powerful use of a set of multiple masks. Because I have a separate mask applying to her face, I can adjust it to control the effect only on her face. Pretty cool, right? I hope you liked this video, and as always, thanks very much for watching.